Good morning, Olentangy. I'm here with the Olentangy District Superintendent, Mr. Rafe, and I'm here to ask him a couple questions. So, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, as I said, I like to talk about my favorite subject. Um, I've been in education for 34 years, uh, 20 of them with Olentangy. I started here in, in, at Olentangy High School as the assistant principal in 2003, and um, was then principal at Liberty, assistant superintendent for five years, and I finished eight years as superintendent. Um, got a wonderful wife who's a, a fifth grade teacher at Freedom Trail Elementary School, and four children who are all graduates of, we like to say, the Olentangy High School. I know it's the main campus, right? Go Braves! Um, and uh, I actually have three grandchildren, so that's probably, you know, between work and uh, my family, those are the two most important things in my life. Wow. How did you kind of get your start in teaching or being a school administrator? You know, I, I initially, and I tell kids all the time, the, the path doesn't have to be exactly straight. I, my first degree was in, actually in accounting. I uh, quickly realized I didn't want to work in that environment. Um, my parents were teachers, so I kind of followed that path. So I taught for nine years, uh, was a head football coach, coached uh, basketball and softball and wrestling and track and pretty much anything they needed to, to, to coach. And I decided I wanted a new challenge, so I got my uh, master's degree in uh, educational administration and then um, started, got my first job at Bexley High School, worked at Westerville South High School, and then I was very fortunate that. Um, this is Mindy Fari, who was the principal at the time, um, offered me a position here at Owens and um, off we went. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Now, what are you most proud of regarding your time here? You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't ever think of things in terms of just like one specific incident or event. Um, I always say my greatest uh, success comes from other people's success. When I see uh, students being successful year after year after year, we're going to graduate over 1,750 students this year. Um, that's the culmination of all the hard work that the students and the parents and our staff from kindergarten through 12th grade, all that hard work comes out at graduation. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm proud that we, uh, of all of our programs, whether they're, you know, the academic programs, the arts, athletics, broadcast journalism, um, kids in Olentangy don't realize how fortunate they are to have gone to this school until they graduate and they go out into the world and they realize how lucky they that, that you were to go, go to Olentangy High School and be a part of the Olentangy School. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm proud of it in totality uh, that, of all the things that we all collectively accomplished together. Wow. We appreciate your perspective on that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, what do you have planned after your run as superintendent? What's next? Oh my goodness. Um, it's going to be a big life change for my wife and I because uh, I've been going to school for 53 years. 50. 58, I'll be 59 in July. You know, you start school at five years old or so and, and, and you know, off you go. Um, uh, you know, between school and college and going right to, uh, into, um, into work as a teacher. Uh, so it's going to be completely different come August to not go to school. My wife's uh, been teaching for, for over 20 years. Uh, as well. Um, so we've got a big trip planned in September to kind of keep our minds off not, not being at work. Uh, we have, um, actually we're going to relocate to uh, the state of North Carolina, I'm going to play some golf, I'm going to do some traveling, going to spoil my grandchildren, um, <laughs> you know, and we're just going to see what, what happens with the next chapter of our lives. We we're very, very blessed. Um, that happens a lot if you put in a lot of hard work and effort. Good things happen, um, but you know. So we're, we're going to see. We're eager to, eager and anxious to, uh, excited to, for that next phase of our lives. Wow, it's good on you for starting that with a vacation, though. Yeah, that's a much needed vacation. That's right. I appreciate that, Nicholas. <laughs> so, what will you miss the most after retiring? Kind of on that note. <coughs> Excuse me. I, you know. That answer, and I've been asked that quite a bit, um, I'm going to miss the people, the people I work with, um, the, the, the students I get to see um, in our district, the teachers, the bus drivers, um, you know, custodians. Um, just, when, you know, we've been here 20 years. It's, it's, a, it's such a long time. Um, I'm going to miss, uh, you know, the community and, and just be 
being a part of it. Um, I never really, you know, we as a school district, being the fourth largest district in the state of Ohio, and I believe the highest performing district in the state of Ohio, um, that to be, have been a, a part of that, um, and I, I never would ever like overvalue my, my impact or my importance on that because our success comes from all of the people here who work really hard for the students, the expectations that parents have, the expectations that students have, because you guys put a lot of pressure on yourselves. Um, and to be a part of, of something that great um, is, is really special, and, and you know, I think that's, that's what I'm gonna miss. What's something you would have done maybe differently looking back? Hmm, you know, that's a good question. And, and I get questions like that. Um, and, and our again, our organization, our school district is really good because one thing we know here is whatever we do, it's never good enough. It's like, you know, you think about even, you know, you're gonna go watch the video of this and wish you would have asked the question a different way because that's the type of person you are. All the people, everybody, everybody here has that continuous improvement mindset. You know, it doesn't matter what decision we make, somebody's gonna be critical of it. Well, the person who's probably the most critical of every decision is me, because I'm constantly assessing and reevaluating all of our decisions. So my mind doesn't look back. I'm always looking kind of forward for the next challenge, next opportunity. I always reflect on all that we do, but I just, I don't, I, I don't, ref, I, failure's a part of learning. Uh, so it's an error. You're never gonna be perfect. Um, so I just, I, I can't say one thing I would do differently. I think that's a great message, I think, for everybody. I say, ladies, wonder, I want tomorrow to be the best day of my life. Because then that means I always have something to look forward to. Because if today's the best day of my life, what's what's ahead, right? So today's a great day. The good things happen. Do something better. But tomorrow's going to be even better. And that's how I've always tried to approach it. What would you like to see happen after you retire with the next superintendent? Well, I would like to see them continue to... Um, be focused on facilitating maximum learning for every student because that's really what we're all about here uh, and, and, and if I tell everybody all the time if they put the mission of the district in their heart and live the mission of the district then the job of the superintendent's easy and the district is too great for any one person to impact it to failure so I believe we're set up for great success uh, continued success in the future and and I think that whomever comes in uh, to uh, replace me in the role as superintendent, just remember to keep taking care of, of the people here because there are so many great people that um, believe in the mission of the district. And finally, what's your leaving message for Long Tangy? <laughs> Be brave. How's that? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank it. you so much, Mr. Ray. Thank you very much, Alex. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ray, for the interview. Congratulations on your retirement and good luck on your future endeavors. Your impact on Olentangy will always be remembered.